There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Do you know if Dorothy had been wearing ruby mules, then she probably never would have made it home. Because you can't click your heels together when your shoes have no backs. Hello starlets, I'm Sarah from Everyday Starlet. Welcome to my channel. I make videos to inspire you to be the best version of yourself and live your dreams. So if you wanna be an Everyday Starlet, be sure you hit that subscribe button. Today we are combining glamor and practicality. Well, kind of. <laughs> I actually did a video recreating a pair of sparkly marabou mules that I saw in a photo uh, of Dita Von Teis that I could not find anywhere so I decided to recreate them DIY style. They're absolutely stunning and I have them on display in my room. The video is actually quite popular. I will link it to this one. But the number one question I get asked on that video is can you walk in those? And the truth is not really. <laughs> I mean kind of a little bit but they're really more for like standing and looking cute or <laughs> putting on display in your bedroom. Or if you wanna put yourself on display in your bedroom, I don't know, whatever, whatever you're into, I don't know. So I decided to do a DIY, it's actually gonna be very similar, uh, but I wanted to take a pair of marabou mules that I can walk in that are a little bit more practical for every day and show you that you can decorate those as well. So if you wanna see how I recreated these sparkly Swarovski ruby slipper sexy Dorothy inspired comfortable marabou mules, then just keep watching. Okay, so for starters, I'm gonna start with a pair of low-heeled marabou mules. I, I got these on Amazon. I decided to go with red this time because I went with pink last time and I thought red would be a nice change and you know, red is the color of passion. And I also got some red Swarovski crystals. Everything will obviously be linked in the description box. I decided to do some red on red. I thought that would be really cute for this. A6000 glue, Q-tips. You can use regular Q-tips. I got these pointed ones, which I've used for makeup and stuff before. I just thought these might be a little bit easier applying the glue, but We'll see when I try it out. And then I have this, I believe it's called a rhinestone picker. Um, it actually does have red crystals in the middle. The one that I used in the last video or I've used in several other crystal gluing videos before is actually clear. Actually this one right here, these actually came in a set and I usually use the clear one just because that's the one I usually use, but I figured because I'm actually doing this project that's all red, I might as well use the red one. So I'm gonna take, start out by taking my E6000 glue. I'm going to put some onto one of my little pointed Q-tips here. I'm going to rub some of the glue onto my shoe here. And then I take my rhinestone picker. I take this as the sticky end right here. I press this down here and then I tap it down on the shoe and then this metal end right here is where you kind of hold it in place. I did get a lot of glue on here and I want to try to use it before it dries so I'm going to try to move quickly. This glue does not dry super fast so when you actually place down the rhinestone you do have a little bit of time to kind of guide it in the right place. So don't panic if you set it down and it's not exact, you can kind of shift it. And then you can start building a second row. I like to kind of alternate them. So you've got like two and then three kind of like putting them, I don't know what that technique is called, but you're kind of putting one C, you've got two, and then you put this one in the middle. That's kind of how I like to spread them out, but you know what, if you wanna put them like, you know, two rows, you can do it that way too. And be careful you don't put too much glue. I might've put a little bit too much. If you get too much glue bef because this glue doesn't dry really quickly, the jewels can kind of slip around a little bit. And we've got a nice little row down here. And obviously, you know, a heel, especially like this, which is tapered, it's going to be difficult to get the crystals to be like in a perfect formation. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter because like nobody's going to be looking at the jewels all that closely. They're just going to see the sparkle. So as long as you get them like sort of somewhat even, or if you want them scattered all over the place, you could do that too. There's no rule that says that they have to be even. Um, you know, you can even use different size crystals. I mean, you can do this with whatever you want. 
make it your own, but the point is don't stress if you don't get them like perfectly even all the way around because they're just, you're just gonna see them sparkle. You can use smaller crystals too. That will give it, I think, you know, a little bit more of a delicate look. Um, use bigger crystals if you want a less delicate look. But of course, the smaller the crystals you use, the longer this will take. So you just gotta keep that in mind. Okay, so I've done about four rows on here. So I think I'm going to do the same thing on the other side for a few rows. Uh, I find like when you work like one shoe for a little bit and then the other shoe for a little bit, it just makes it a little bit more even. But you could always just do like one whole shoe and then the other, that's totally up to you. I just kind of like working a little bit on one and then a little bit on the other. Okay, so now I've got about four rows on each, so I'm gonna go back to the original one and work on that for a bit. Every once in a while, it's good to change Q-tips just because the glue can start to dry and get a little bit sticky on it, so I just wanna change them every once in a while. Okay, so I have this heel done. I'm actually going to take, I think, a little bit of a break because I can't feel my legs because I've been sitting for so long and then go back to work on this one. But I think I may need to order more crystals. Okay, so I had to take a few days off because I needed to get more crystals and um, one package came. I actually ordered some more and they ended up like canceling my order because they said they were out. I had to reorder them from somewhere else. It was kind of complicated. Hopefully the rest of them are gonna come tomorrow, um, but I wanted to get moving on this. I have a lot of these done and, I, and to be honest, you, I could stop here um, because from the side they look cute, but I really wanted to cover the whole bottoms. So I'm gonna work on that now and uh, get as much of these done with the crystals I have and hopefully finish these tomorrow. I'm gonna peel the sticker off of the back. You can peel the sticker off the bottom too. I'll get to that at some point, but I wish my lighting was a little bit better right now, but um, I had a bunch of days with good lighting, but my crystals hadn't arrived yet, so 
sometimes you just gotta make do with what you got. Unfortunately, because I'm here in New England and it is cold, um, this glue is stiffening up quite a bit because of the cold weather. So I have used up a package of crystals. I grossly underestimate the number of crystals that I need for things like this. I thought I would need so much fewer than I did for my dollar shoes because these heels are so much lower and I'm not actually covering the front. But yeah, I have run out of crystals yet again. I will actually try to leave the total number of crystals that I use in this uh, in the description box because I've lost count at this point, but I can look it up. Hopefully what comes tomorrow we'll be able to finish this, but if not, I'll just have to order more. Okay, so it's the next day. I have better lighting. I have a new bag of crystals. I have another one that is out for delivery that should be here today. So <laughs> I am hoping, fingers crossed, that uh, these two bags are enough to finish these shoes. Honestly, I could have finished these shoes in one day. It would have been a long day, but it wouldn't have taken this long. It's only been going this long because I kept having to wait for crystals. Other than that, this is actually a really easy project. tricky part on this side is trying to keep, like once you get down towards the marabou part, it's making sure that you don't get the marabou stuck in the glue. I think that's as far down as I'm going to go on the shoe because I feel like after that, because the shoe kind of tapers down, it'd be really cool if I had smaller rhinestones that I could taper it down, but yeah, I'm not ordering more. That would take forever. But I kind of feel like when I let the feathers down, this is kind of where they'll cover the shoe area. So I feel like this is a good place to stop. It helps if you kind of hold the marabou back a little bit so that you can kind of get in Try not to get too much of it in the glue. It doesn't have to be exactly even on both sides, but you want it to be kind of close as to where you stop with the crystals. But like no one's really gonna look at it from that angle, so it's not gonna matter too much. That is the last one of this pack. I'm actually gonna try to scrape some of the glue clumps off of here, because um, I don't want it to dry too clumpy because I have to wait until the rest of my crystals arrive today. It says they're out for delivery, so hopefully as soon as they get here, I'm actually going to finish these up. Okay, so it has just been like an hour and my last bag of crystals that's coming this week came, so hopefully, fingers crossed, these are going to be enough to finish these shoes. Okay, remember what I said about holding back the marabou? I should have taken my own advice. Ah, uh, one shoe down and one to go. I'm gonna try to get these generally even, like just where I stop with the crystals.
done and I've got crystals to spare. And I'm gonna be finding red crystals in my rug and my everything. I think they are so worth it. I'm gonna let these dry and oh my god, they're giving me such like sexy Dorothy vibes. Let's walk the yellow brick road. So I'm going to let these dry overnight and then I'm going to style them up and show you the finished look. Ta-da! I love the way these heels came out and they're so comfortable to wear that you could just wear them around your house if you just wanted to cook or you know, you wanna make vacuuming a little bit more special, then why not? The only problem is is that you then have to vacuum up all of the marabou. <laughs> so like, you're kind of defeating the purpose, but you know what? Vacuuming up marabou is totally worth it and it's way more glamorous than vacuuming up anything else. So if you enjoy this video and you enjoy my glam DIYs, then let me know if you have any other glam DIYs that you would like me to try to recreate. Uh, let me know, leave a comment in the comment section below. I love to hear from you, I love your suggestions. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're following me on Instagram, you know that my journey with beauty and glamour and self-love and self-care has just come from a place of um, just trying to get out of a really negative space and learning to love myself. And I found that doing these fun things and adding uh, glamour and sparkle and treating myself like an everyday starlet and like my life is a movie and I'm the star has actually helped me learn to fall in love with myself. And I hope that I can bring some of what I've learned and what I've experienced to you and inspire you to do something special. I mean, whether it's Swarovski crystalline a pair of marabou mules or whether it's just, I don't know, trying a new shade of lipstick or something. Um, I hope that this video inspired you to do something special for yourself uh, that makes you happy and makes you feel special. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you join me next time.